Hey, so, um, break from the book reviews. I'm reviewing as of <laughs> late November 2020. <laughs> um, my little tea thoughts. Now, like, this is my book of lists. <laughs> so I keep, like, different, like, lists, um, in here. Right now it's a few lists, but, uh, very first one is, like, my tea thoughts. So, um, right now I'm doing Oliver and Taylor. So I tried these ones out. They had, um, in 2019, a little 12-day advent calendar type of thing. So I'm like, okay, each day you get a different one of their teas. I'm like, okay, so I'm not committing to a whole box of one of these teas if I don't like it or anything. But um, one of them was apple and green, apple and green tea. Um, I didn't get the apple. It was okay if you do like green tea. Uh, vanilla tea... Again, I wasn't smelling the vanilla. You do, like, only a slight creaminess of the vanilla. But, at least it wasn't overpowering, which would have um, which is nice. Because, like, sometimes they can really overpower a certain scent. And they didn't on this one. Um, again, like, the green tea, I got more of, like, the green in this one. But... It, it's okay. Um, oolong black tea. That one isn't too bad. Uh, though it does smell a little funny. But I am not huge on just plain, plain old oolong tea. Maybe I just need to drink a few more cups of that. And then I'll be okay with it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Earl Grey, it was nice, not off-putting or anything, so it was a really nice tea. Their black tea wasn't too bad. Uh, the organic green tea, also not too bad, but I'm not huge on green teas anyway, so. <laughs> um, Jasmine tea, not a fan of this one. Same with their chamomile. So, maybe it's just Oliver and Taylor that I'm not liking, because a good majority of these I haven't really, I didn't really like or wasn't huge on. The lemon, it was eh, you sort of taste the lemon. So, but I'll give them a positive. The scents or tastes aren't overpowering. I'll give them that. Orange, it was okay, but again, I didn't taste the orange. And the peppermint, pretty decent like any other peppermint from any other company. Um, but, uh, I'll repeat again, not, it's both a pro and a con uh, with the um, other flavor, like the flavoring. Yes, it's awesome that the certain flavors aren't overpowering, which can ruin a tea, like a tea for me, but, there wasn't enough on a few of these to say, let me find a box of these, a box of this flavor to have in my tea box or whatever. So, yeah, that was Oliver and Taylor and the teas that I've tasted of them. So, yeah, happy readings.